Hi, welcome to Great Gadgets and Gear. Okay, uh, a couple weeks ago I had a power outage at my house and when I went to go grab my lanterns, all the batteries were dead. Uh, they're very old, they take D batteries. <laughs> I don't have rechargeables of those um, and I don't keep those around. Plus the lumen levels were really low on them so they were really outdated and needed to be updated. So I bought a couple lights that I'm going to review. This is the first light. So just go over some specs real quick. It's made by a company called LG, which is an internet company. This is manufactured in China. They ship them all over the world. It's a rechargeable lantern and they advertise it as a thousand lumen, 10 watt, 3600 milliamp hour power bank, IPX4 waterproof. It comes with a USB cable and a carry strap and it has a Cree T6 LED light. It is a spotlight, not a floodlight, as you can probably read from the box. Uh, this was kind of expensive. It was 38 bucks. They have this, uh, if you go on Amazon, I'll put a, a link in the description. But they have several of these that looked exactly the same, and the difference is in the lumens. Um, so this one does come up on sale occasionally, so I would probably wait, because at 38 bucks, it was a little steep for this. Um, all right, so this is the box that comes in, and this is the this is the light. Some specs on the light. It's let me take it out of the plastic. That's how it comes. Okay, you got your carry strap and your USB charger. Um, I have them folded up, kind of neat, and zip tied to it, so I don't lose them. Um, last thing you want to do is be searching for cables or straps or anything during a power outage or an emergency. I'd rather have everything all together, so I just do that for my convenience. Okay, the height of it up to this light is 5 inches, up to here is 10, and the width of it is, or 7, I'm sorry, it's 10 wide and it's 7 tall. Now, the, we'll go, I'm going to do some testing outside for you too and in the dark. Uh, there's the... Cree little, little teeny weeny T6 uh, bulb there. So that's the spotlight. Then you have this side light, which works really good for like a table. Your uh, on off switch for high and low. Then on the back, you have your the yellow one, which is they're kind of like a plasticky, rubbery type feel. These are the switches for the side light. On this side, the white light your USB charging or your auxiliary to charge other items. That too is a little rubbery feeling. And then the red one is for the red strobe on this side. The black is just decorative. And then underneath it's got a couple of little rubber feet on it. So, I'll show you the lights now with the lights on and then I'll show you with the lights off. So the side one is it only has high and low setting. The high setting comes on first, which is 130 lumens. There are four rows of three sets of lights in here, which I don't know if you can make out on camera. And then another click is low. That's the 70 lumens. And then off. Then the red strobe. It only has one setting, on and off. And I believe there's 20 LED little bulbs in there that's all it does and then the front light here try not to shine it directly in the camera um, there's markings on here there's one bar or two the one bar which is down is the brightest setting and then the two is the lowest setting the brightest setting is supposed to be a thousand lumens the low setting is supposed to be 400 lumens. The description on this on Amazon, it's a little misleading. I think the first one says that it's 700 lumens. You have to scroll down, read through the description part. I also contacted the company and they did confirm that it is 400 lumens on low. Okay, the spotlight is supposed to run for four to five hours and then the side light for five to 12. Another cool feature I did like about this is that you can run the spotlight 
and the side light at the same time. So you could be sitting at a table doing something, maybe somebody needs the spotlight to walk off to go to the restroom or something. So I thought that was kind of a cool feature that they all operate independently. So yeah, you could probably turn on all three if you wanted to. All right, let's do a quick little test with the lights off in here. So I'm gonna turn this on, the spotlight, or let's turn the side light on first. We'll turn it on low and then I can show you how it lights up the room in the dark. Okay, so this is on a side table, or no, well not a side table, it's on my treadmill in my dining room. And at 70 lumens, I mean it does give you some light, it's not tremendous, and it doesn't really light up my kitchen or anything, just the one room. So now we'll crank it up to the 100 lumens. Again, it's pretty nice and pretty bright for just 130 lumens. And then it does light up a little bit of the kitchen. Okay, now we'll try the spotlight. Okay, I'm gonna put the spotlight standing up. I'm gonna start with low. So it's kind of standing up like a flashlight, you can see. So that's the 400 lumens. Does a pretty good job of lighting up the dining room and the kitchen. And then we'll turn it up to the, to the 1000 lumens. Nice and bright. And better view in the kitchen. And then I'll turn on all the lights. So that's pretty decent. Of course, if you have both lights on, you're gonna run the battery down quite fast, but it does a pretty good job of right lighting up uh, both rooms. So that's pretty, Pretty decent. So now, I can't pause this camera. My other camera decided to take a dive off the counter today <laughs> and crash on the floor and burn. So, sorry about the shoddy camera work. We'll take this outside and run the spotlight so you can see how far it goes. Okay, so turn it on low, turn off the side light, okay, so it goes pretty far, see up in, up in the trees, definitely a spot, try other trees. That tree over there is two houses away, which, yeah, I know it doesn't mean anything to you, but <laughs> it does have a really good throw for a spotlight on high. So it's not a flood, it's definitely a spot. Up close you get a, bit, a little bit more ground coverage. Okay, that's on high. Now we'll turn on the side light. which will work if I can get my fingers on it. Turn off this. It's kind of hard, it's just sitting on a lawn chair, but it's lighting up just the area around it, so that would be good for like a small deck or a table. And then uh, the flasher mode. Flasher mode. Okay. 
Okay, so it lights up a pretty good chunk of my yard. Let's see, I'll stick it on the tree and move around. So it lights up the area around it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good little spotlight. Alright, let's go back in the house and raining out there. All right, let me get the light. Okay, so, whoa. <laughs> this camera setup is not ideal. I am not really liking it, but sorry, best I can do right now. Come back and focus. Another thing I don't like about this Canon camera, it doesn't seem to want to focus okay so there was another video review on this where the um, the guy took it apart opened it up and if I remember correctly it was only right up in the front two 18 650 batteries the whole rest of this inside was just a ghost town so I'm kind of wondering why they didn't beef this up a little bit since they had the room um, especially at the price point like I said, you can find this exact looking flashlight with lower lumens at a cheaper price depending on sale dates and stuff like that and coupons they offer. Um, I've seen them as low as $16, but I think they have half the lumens. There's some around $20. So like I said, I'll throw the link in the description and you can check it out and pick whatever's going to work best for you. This thing is super lightweight. I weighed it in one of my five other video trials <laughs> um, it weighs um, just over a pound and a half it's 1.66 they say it's like 29 ounces uh, if you're an ounce or a pounder um, so it's to me it's super lightweight it's got these little finger grips on here if you want to take it for a walk it's got a little strap you can throw it over your shoulder if you're out hiking in the woods or your camp and going to the restroom area or whatever you're using this for as far as the plasticky construction of this um obviously it's to keep costs down but there was some like solder dripped on it and just some little piddly stuff overall like i said i'd probably wait till it was on sale um and try to pick it up a little bit cheaper because when you do get it and you grab it out of the box the first time you're like "Ooh, this is kind of chintzy but it's actually, it's not that bad. It works pretty good for a rechargeable uh, lantern. The only bad thing is you the batteries aren't replaceable to the you know novice type person. If you're mechanically inclined, you could probably open this up, pop them out, resolder. Who knows? Depending on how good you are, you could probably even add more uh, batteries to it. Or set it up for a way where you could make it re you know rechargeable but as is you know it's you, you recharge it till it dies and then when it dies that's the end of it um i really needed to to update um my i don't know storm box or power outage box or whatever my little emergency box at home so i am working on that because these lights really needed an upgrade i have a few other things that do too when i get that box together i'll show you that box I do have another um, video to show you on lights, so that will be coming up next. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I, I try to help out and answer anything that I can. Uh, sorry this video is a little choppy and whatever. I've been shooting it like five, six times, you know, and then my camera took a dump. So I'm shooting it with this Canon that I absolutely hate, but right now it's the only camera I got. So thanks for staying tuned. Really appreciate it. Everybody be safe out there. Stay tuned to the next video. Thanks.